Let's take a closer look at one of these now, the return to dig feature. That feature can be utilized when you're doing a, a V or a Y kind of cycle as a truck loading cycle. That means you're into the pile with a bucket, you're taking the material to a truck, you're dumping it in the truck, and then as you're backing away from the truck, you're lowering the lift arms and returning the bucket to a position where you can again attack the pile for another load, for another cycle to the truck. The return to dig feature makes that much easier and we'll show you that here in just a few moments. With the return to dig feature, all you need to do is move the joystick as you normally would and incorporate the trigger press into that movement. Not before you leave the center position and not when you reach the end of the stroke, but on the way over. So in this case, when we're lowering and racking, that's about 11 o'clock on the joystick. So as we back away from the pile, I'll move the joystick away. I'll take my hand away so you can see the action of the joystick. And you can also see what happens with the work tool as we back away from the pile as well. Okay. And there you go, you have the bucket returned to the prescribed angle, ready to attack the pile again and make another cycle for your truck loading. If you'd like to learn more about the CAT skid steer, multi-terrain, or compact track loader family, or other features we offer on these machines, please visit us on the YouTube channel, cat.com, or your local dealer.